Your Honor, I will play um, State's Exhibit Number 176. 176A with the court's permission. At what, at what, what time period or what market? Starts at zero. Okay, all right, go ahead. And this is, oh, if you're asking, I apologize, September 17, 2013. This gate right here. Right. Good morning, Lieutenant. How's it going? That's my raggedy ass tour straight ahead. Uh, why you like that? Yeah, it's a free car. I'm not mad at it, you know. Free gas. Pick the groceries up. Take the kids to the south. Mr. Bean, I asked it to be stopped, Your Honor, at um Okay, we'll get a we'll get a time if that's all right in one second. Um, Mr. Being the voice of Detective David Quinn. No, sir. Okay. And Your Honor, I'll announce the time if you could continue. This gate right here. All right. Good morning, Lieutenant. How's it going? That's my raggedy ass tour straight ahead. Uh, why you like that? You know, like, yeah, this is a free car. I'm not mad at it, you know. Free gas. Pick the groceries up. Take the kids to the soccer games on the weekend, which is against the rule, but you know. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't make no money. But you get used to that. Y'all get paid. Y'all get good. No, we don't, man. Get good. Not even, man. I'm just glad to be employed, my brother, and be healthy. Take care of the family, you know what I'm saying? Like you. You're a family man. Try to. You're know, you, you good family man. Yeah. Got to make sure my family, you know, crazy, bad. All that's, in, all that's really important. Yeah, they a bitch, but, you know, I don't usually take nobody with me when I do my shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I gotta, like, I gotta do that. I'm gonna sit you up front, though. I ain't gonna treat you like no stranger. Now, I don't have tinted glass on this car. Some people don't like riding. You know, we're going back to the office. My regular car is in the shop. That's your sandwich. It's only a short ride. Let me put that in the console so you don't mess up nothing. Make sure you, let me know you're comfortable or as reasonable as you can be comfortable, reasonably comfortable, we call it, under the circumstance. It's going to be a short ride, then I'm going to take them bad boys off you. All right. America seen Reed, don't want nothing to happen to you. That's why I must buckle you in. I don't want nothing to happen to you either. Damn, I'm not doing what the fucking. All right, here we go. Now, now that we're in the car, I'll kind of let you know what's going on. There's some air going on. This car has a million miles I got on this bitch now. Well, this one's only 58. I must have went around once already. All right. I'm Detective Quinn, right? I work homicide. 
All right, for the city of Atlanta. Have you, you ever seen me before? Ever? The one thing, excuse me, the one thing I do whenever I deal with somebody that's come up in one of my investigations like you have, I've been assigned an investigation where I believe you have significant involvement. Now, in homicide, we don't just work murders, right? Yeah. We work a lot of special investigations, too. They seem to think we know a little bit more about shit, and they assign certain cases to you. I got assigned one such case. The case, uh, you're not charging anything, as far as what I'm investigating, but it involves a police-involved shooting, or a police officer did some shooting last Wednesday, 9-11 of uh, this year, 2013. Now, in order for me to, I got, I'm just trying to find out if I'm on the right track on the information I'm working up. You don't have to say nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to read your rights because I want you to know if we even start talking. But uh, I've got some information here. There's certain people that have said some things, people that may or may not have been with you. I want to make sure your story is down with the one that's actually looking and working into this shit, working the case up. Now, I know he say, she say. I want them straight up folks. As a matter of fact, I met your wife out at the scene that day. Not the scene, but at the trap. I'm going to call it the trap because I'm old police. You know what I'm saying? Down there off making drive. That's what I call it. Because you know I'm from Zone 3, so, you know. When I say I'm from Zone 3, I've been out here since, like, 1985. I mean, I'm, I'm old police. I mean, I just... I got a dope rifle, but I don't, I don't want to do with the drugs. Well, I'm not saying it's your trap. I'm saying it looked like a trap to me where I met her. It ain't no trap. Right, right, right. But it just looked like it to me. But anyway, all right, number one, this is they call it the Miranda warning. Number one is you have the right to remain silent. You understand that part? Yes, sir. That's important. Um... This is what, anytime I deal with somebody and, if I'm, and I'm taking them out of a facility, out of their house, you're in custody. I make sure I read all these. I let you read it as I'm reading. You, how, first of all, how far did you go in school? 11th grade. All right. You read and write pretty good? Or no? All right. Reasonable? All right. Number two is anything you say can and will be used against you in court. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Number three, you have the right to consult with an attorney and have an attorney present during any questioning. That's at any time. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Um, the fourth one is, if you cannot afford an attorney, one can be provided to you before any questioning at no cost. Now, do you understand what I read to you? Yes, sir. Here's, here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you about everything. Not only am I going to be honest with you about what I believe happened out there, I'm also going to show you evidence because I don't hide anything. My reputation with the courts is I give it all up. I'm not one of them cops when the warrants get written up. It's all kind of like innuendo and vague shit. I write it all down. And, and it really, it's a selfish reason why I do it. That way I remember it, because I go to so many trials with murders. This isn't a murder. But I've got to investigate the police officer's actions out there. That's why they called me out. Now, based off his actions, i got to make sure he had a legal right to be there doing what he did. Right. That's what I got to do. So, I just want the complete truth from you about what happened that day, and then I bring you on back in. It's on you. I mean, because I'm going to tell you what we got, because it's not a secret. A lot of it was on the news. You know that. As a matter of fact, were you in the back of a police car when I got there that day? Yes, sir. Did you see me talking to the police that had you in the car? Yes, sir. Okay, because I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't have any charges on you. I'm investigating a case where I believe you have significant significant involvement, but I'm still working. There ain't no hurry. You know what I mean? You're not charged with anything from me. But uh, so that's all I wanted you to know before we even get started. So, uh, your wife seems like a nice lady, though. Know, I'm straight up to I'm 35 years. I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I ain't going to go to school. Okay. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't believe in lying. You know what I mean? That's why I went ahead and gave him my name, told him who I was. You know what I mean? Even though I know I had through one. But we're not going to talk anything about other cases. Yeah, Make yeah. sure. I'm let you know see, but, but see, I don't want to know nothing about other issues. You know, that's your personal business. And I don't think. Right, right. Whatever, whatever, I, whatever I, you know what I mean? Okay. All right. I but I, I got to. About a leg. And play I've got play. you. Well, in that Nissan, that red, burgundy, whatever color it was, Nissan, and I got to understand what was going on that day. Uh, I think I know, but maybe you can 
you know, steer me in another direction because I just want the truth. See, the one thing a lot of cops do, they rush up on shit. And I only know it because I'm old police. I've been a police officer 28 years. Most of it in zone three, a lot of it on Bankhead. Those are the only two places I work. Ten years in zone three, five years on Bankhead. So, you know, <laughs> I've been, I, you know, I, I, I heard some things before. I've seen a couple things, too. What I'm saying is it's important. That you understand, all I want for, is, from you is the truth. Now, I can't give any hope or benefit ever. I can't promise nothing. All I can do is take the truth, make some sense out of it. I got to let them know I'm transporting somebody. I don't never do shit the right way. Part me for one second. I'm supposed to tell them where you're going. And shit. 41, 39. Yeah, I'm going to tell you Show me transport one from 901 Wright Street to headquarters. My beginning is 58777. Okay, you're on 956 Now, it, I just don't really understand what was all going on. But again, like I was saying, the um, I just saw the look in your wife's eyes. I met her by accident because, and I'm just telling you straight up, skateboard, you know, he, he told me a few things. He put me up on some stuff. I know you know who skateboard is, right? That's the white boy. Yeah, the white boy. And, um, you know, he was shook. He ain't never seen no real shit like that. You know, he didn't know what was going on. And I guess they had borrowed the car from the little Mexican kid's old lady. And, you know, she's upset. Her shit's all fucked up. Uh, but we'll get into that. I just want step by step what you remember about that day. And then I'm going to tell you. You know, I was, I was, I was running on by the police car. I blacked out. Okay. You blacked out? Okay, we'll get all that down, but let's get it let's get it in an order. A nice a nice order of how things I'm went. I saw the picture on skateboard and car and all that. Well, you know, I just wanna know how you came up with it. So where you grew up in Atlanta the whole way of the college part? Okay. You got two sons. Three? Son, two sons and a daughter. Yeah. Got three kids and all. Okay. 17, 12, 10. So what side of town do you crib on? I mean, because... I'm, I'm over on the west side. I live on the west side. Okay. I be over on Make the Ride. Okay, that's like your neighborhood you grew up in? Or? Okay. Cleveland Avenue. Good guy. That's where I started years ago, Cleveland Avenue. He was a young boy then. But, uh, and most of my time in Zone 3 was in Mechanicville. That was my shit. That's where I did what I do. It was, I love Mechanicville. You ever know anybody from Mechanicville? Man, I loved it over there. Back when it was the Bricks? What was his name? Cleveland Lamar. What year was that? 97, I thought. 90, I wasn't in homicide then. I was then over on Bankhead then. Yeah, it was a bloody... Keith Meadows been doing homicide. He was the major, major Meadows. I know Keith. We, we, we came on together. We came on around the same well, time. Chief Meadows said he's doing school detective work or something like that. Yeah, I think, uh, I think they'll make Keith a chief before he leaves. You kind of favor that family a little call, bit. When you call his phone, though, he's you know, he say chief. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a funny dude. It's, I remember, you know, we uh, we we started the union together, the police union, we back in the eighties. Because I was, uh, I probably got a year more than him on the department, about one year, maybe two. He's a good dude. Uh, I know his wife. Good dude. He used to be the commander over homicide, and he was a, he was a lieutenant in homicide. He was a sergeant in homicide. I'm surprised that Joe Grant's still in homicide. He spent most of his career over there. I'm going to 
mostly handle the cold cases now. I'm working a murder, some old shit. Joker's down in prison. Be called a nigga. Be like, listen. Because you know what happens when them life sentences on them, them killers, when it sinks in, because it don't sink in probably like maybe five years. They realize I ain't going home for like at least 25 more summers. You get 30 summers in prison in Georgia for murder. And like, you would not believe how much information jokers have once they go down the road. Oh my God, it's just, it's so much shit. You'd be like wanting to put a sock in a motherfucker's mouth. You'd be like, wait a minute, man, why you say this shit back then, you know? Because, uh, that's what I'm saying. I can't, you know, I can't do nothing with this shit. But, um, well, like, I, I've been in there doing the same thing. I don't know you, what went on. Man. Well, here's the, here's the reality. I think buddy take on one mission. We go early in the morning, go get some uh, codeine lean, we drink, and all that lean. It's five from now to take me up the street to holler at this other dude. And this thing, no, he hop out the car and wild five shots go to the corner everywhere. So I don't, you know what I mean? Just. Everything just happened so quick at one time the way it just, you know, it just throw me all the way out to, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm, I was thrown out, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think the, that's why I was letting them know. I, I really don't know what's going on. Everything happened so quick. Well, that's all I want is what you said. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what they said. I'm talking about, I mean, just for the record, how many motherfuckers in the car? that y'all got from skateboard. Four. Four. So that means somebody, somebody got, a, somebody asked up and got up out there. They left, you know, cause uh, you know we ain't got three of y'all, right? And again, it was because of the officer shooting his gun that I got called into this. I wouldn't even have been called into this. I only work murders and special investigations. And anytime a police officer uses that kind of force, they'll call me in. So I'm going to go through everything, get dates and times when we sit down in here. You probably give you a chance to eat your lunch. Let me get all my papers, get the pictures of the people I believe were there. And, you know, you tell me or you tell me to kick rocks and take you back. Motherfucker, I'm done. I ain't got nothing to say. I'm going to do whatever you want to do today. It's on you. The joke doing over here. I tell you, man, even I get shook when I see the police lights. I'm like, damn. I'm in this shit. It still it might be just a black man thing. I don't know. <laughs> I was a teenager too, so you know. I've been cuffed up and shit. I know just how that shit feel. Plus, most of my cousins, when I was coming up, was doing life. Used to go visit them motherfuckers. That's all we did on Sunday. I thought that's what everybody did after church. Go on to visit folk. And, you know, I don't, I don't travel with a whole lot of police. I don't know. I guess the older I get, man, I just, I feel like sometimes I'm more like the street than I am these motherfuckers I work with, man. I hate to wear the uniform. I hate to put that motherfucker on. Around Christmas, they're going to come, send out notice. All your motherfuckers need to be back in blue for the whole Christmas season. Like, that shit going to stop crying. If anything, being in uniform, help a motherfucker do what he do. All right, he over there. We're going to go around the corner and do this. You know what I mean? I like to have my cheap suit on with my $12 tie. <laughs> oh, damn. Something going on in Eisenhower. Fuck going on in Eisenhower. They're shot some out in Eisenhower. That's not far from your neighborhood. You ain't got no people in Eisenhower, dude. It's not far, far road. Yeah, that's way down. That damn near to the county. Plate. You ever been down here in this building? Your tax dollars are paying for Nope. The new headquarters? Man, just call me Quinn, man. That sir shit makes me nervous. I'm just Quinn. Everybody, nobody call me. Call, like, I know, you know, but don't nobody call. It makes I'm me feel funny. Know. I know, yeah. I know. But you can just call me Quinn. Everybody all oh, call me Quinn. They don't call me Detective Quinn. None of that shit. Just Quinn. Just... I mean, this, this building is really nice, though. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't have an open house, you know, for the citizens. That's the best shit they ever did for us. Got a fully equipped gym in that motherfucker with goddamn uh, saunas and showers and shit, lockers, which ain't good for police because they can 
make a slick comeback by here on the way home, take a shower, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, always a good thing. Oh, man, y'all got the fucking blocking and shit. Come on, man. Wanna be motherfuckers, man. about two sandwiches and cookies. What's in all this bologna? Damn, they still doing bologna? What about the Muslims? What do they eat? You don't eat pork. What do you eat? You know, how they, how they swing that shit, I wonder. Take your time, take your time. Oh, watch yourself. Let me know if I touch your injury. I know you got a few injuries. Okay, all right. I also wanna, I, w I gotta make note of all your injuries. I want you to tell me if to take pictures of them too. Did they do that that first day at Grady? Or they didn't take pictures of them? I gotta get a picture. All right, I'll take some more pictures of them. Because I want to be able to show if you're saying what happened to you, I need to know and have a documentation of it. Yeah. I got you. Take your time. Ain't no rush. P dog. Can you just put it up the all a little bit for me? Matter of fact, I'm gonna take that thing. Which one is the problem angle? Right. Alright, that's the right. Right. Alright, I'm gonna take that one off. When we get upstairs. Yeah, I'm going to take that one off and just take off your handcuffs and let you uh, eat your food while I go do the shit I need to do. Right here. Hey, hey what's up, brother? All right. something to drink with this? I sure would appreciate it. What you want? Coke? You want uh, uh, water or soda or anything? Any kind of soda. But what, what's your preference, man? Uh, Grape, orange, uh, orange, Sprite, Herp? Let me see what, I don't know what they got here. I think they re up today. Huh? Whatever? All right. Let's see here. 
Just have a seat in this chair, and I'm going to take that right one off and cuff it to this thing here, and I'm going to take them handcuffs off. You say you say the right one is the problem, right? Yeah, that'll work. them joints off here. Yeah. Go find a soda. You're right back. Yes, sir. So this may be an appropriate time for us to go ahead and just break all this shit up. Yeah. All right, now, the way I got the thing, because, you know, it was all a mystery to me. The boss is always when she locks somebody up immediately, but that's not how I operate, man, because I'm the one that has to testify to every fucking thing goes on there. You know what I mean? Plus, I respect the rights of the people who we believe are significantly involved. I mean, you got families, you got rights. And I believe that if I don't do a thorough job, I'm, I'm basically saying, fuck your rights, you know. I don't get all excited because a police officer been involved in a shooting. I'm glad he's okay. I'm glad nobody really got fucked up too bad. Uh, but I got a little problem with what you kind of told me in the car. I want to make sure you got your story right about why you were up there at Summerdale Commons Apartments. Make sure we have that right. I need you to think hard about that day. Remember from start to finish. Again, tell me to kick rocks. Tell me, Quinn, I'm fuck, fuck you. Uh, I want to go back to the, where you just brought me from. I mean, I just want to make sure I got it right and I respect you because... I don't want you coming up later hollering about, you know, like we talk about in the car, people always come back later talking about stuff, and it's too late. Now, too late is kind of open-ended for me to say that. I can't really change the outcome of anything. All I can do is take the truth to the DA and say, okay, out of all four of these people, only three of which I know of, this one told the truth based off what I've done. That's all I can do. I can't say, okay... I can't tell anybody, or it, I can't make any decisions. I don't have any power when it comes out. All I can do is impress upon the people that handle the prosecutions, like the DA's office. Tell them, this joker told the truth. Um, personally, I think the ones down at, the, at Grady healing up, I think they lied. I mean, you've lied a little bit too, but I want to clear that up. Uh, based off my investigation, I'll show you why in a minute, but... Run down for me how that whole day started. How'd you end up with that burgundy or red Nissan Altima that the white kid named? You know his real name? You know Skateboard's real name? Brian, I know his whole name. Okay, Brian. I've been known him for I've been known him for How long have you known him? I've known Brian for a couple of years. Okay. That's good because he said two years, so that's right on time. Yeah. Brian Ransom. Mm -hmm. Did you know the Mexican kid that was with him? Nah, he, he came with Brian a couple of times. Run down for me, 9-11-2013, how you ended up with that car, and where, and how did you end up skint up the way you are? Just start where you got the car and end there, and then 
I'm gonna tell you what I got. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna be straight with you. All right. I ain't gonna cut no combo. All right. The day, the day we um, we, we pulled up at my spot. I, I pulled up at my spot. What's your uh, spot? Talk to uh, me. This uh, on Maple Drive. Right. I pulled up down on Maple Drive. What's uh, that address? Which you probably seen a black camera. Oh, I can't really remember the address of the spot because I got like two spots. But the first one of the spots that's across the street would be uh 2246, and I think the one over there is 2323. Make it. Okay. That's okay. But, you know, Where I met your wife was 2333. Uh, 20, 20, 2233. Okay. That's where I pulled in, Paul. About 15, 20, 30 minutes later, Brian pulled up. He called me, said, You need to come holler at me about some things. I was like, Okay, cool, bro. He pulled up and uh, got him on the thug. Cool. Let me make sure I got these names right. Brian pulled up, and then what happened after Brian pulled up? You and the Camry. Yes, sir. I mean, as I saw him come by and just, just shoot the shit for a minute, and um, <clears throat> Brian called me, said, you coming to see me. I said, come on, Brian, come, come chop it up with me or whatever. So Brian come, and, you know, guy you on the thug roll up, said, hey, man, uh, I just seen a dude with about 22, 33,000 on him. You know what I'm saying? Who's that? Mm -hmm. Who? That's what Young Thug said. Young I, Thug said. Yeah, the blue. Is he that kid that's with the dreadlocks? Be always hanging out at McDonald's. He's around. Real skinny though. Wears pants like white boys and shit. Skinny. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I know him. He, he's pretty, he's seen the guy with some money or whatever. So you know, me and Big Fred, we like y'all. Y'all go ahead on with that man. You know whatever. You know y'all. Y'all want to go do it? Y'all go do it. But use Brian Car, whatever. You know what I mean? So they went to check on whatever was going on with that situation. Well, who's the guy that had? How much money was this? Seen who? He seen, I don't know who he said, he, he just seen a guy with some money. You all know right, what I'm saying? All right, all right. And, you know, they went to check on the guy or whatever, they come back. Ooh, 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 Who's that? Who went to check on the guy? Him and um, the guy with the D and the K in his face. DK, all right, we'll call him DK for now. You know what I'm saying? So all right. they go check on the guy or whatever, ain't nothing going on with that situation. So now, now the fact that they come back, now they, we all go in there on some lean. You see what I'm saying? No. Okay. So, so we'll, we'll, go, we'll go get some lean. Okay. I'm go get it from a buddy up here in Somerdale. Mm hmm So, okay, cool. Well, you going to go get the lean? I got a fit to be Fred. He just coming home from prison. He ain't, you know, he ain't got nothing. He don't know nothing about nothing. He just coming home from chain gang. Mm -hmm. So he like, cool. That like, Big Cole, you going to ride with me? He go, okay, cool. You know, uh, Thug and DK get in the back. Okay, cool. I'm going to drive around, car, whatever. Woo, 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 woo. So we go up there, give DK the money. DK supposed to go get the lean or whatever. DK go around the corner, start firing some shots or something. Shots just go out. And he come back, I'm looking at DK like, what the hell going on? Like, what the fuck you shooting for? What you shooting at? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Keep on telling all, tell all the way live. I'm listening. You know, what the fuck you shooting at? Mm -hmm. Why'd you shoot? You know what I'm saying? He hollering, come go, go, go. So now I get in the car, pull out, and now he go, the tires pull up. And when I, when I pull out. What tires? It's, it's like, uh, uh, Black tire blue. Was it like that shit we just drove up in here? It's one of the tires. All right. Four tires. All right. When I pick you up, then. I go around. I go around. Go around the car, whatever. No, I'm around. Wait a minute. You went around the car? Because I see this damage on car, on, on uh, the police car. They saying they got hit by your car. Do you remember that? No. Hey, I, I, I went around the car. As I go around. What was it? What was the, okay, what was the Taurus doing? As I go around the car. The Taurus the 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 pull up. <laughs> He, he's trying to see what's going on as, as well as I'm trying to mm -hmm. see why the, why the All way. right, this you right here. This your car. Are you, if the right parking, there. you bagged in. So this is the front of the car. You bagged in? I'm bagged in. Cars come like this right here. Stop. Mm -hmm. About right in there, about two car lengths so. up. Okay. Okay, cool. I pulls out. As I pulls out, cops are already right there with the gun. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I go around like this right here. So I go around like this right here. As I go around like this here, the cop car hit me. I want to tell the car like that right now, it goes out. They shoot. Who? Cop. Mm -hmm. He fire a shot. <laughs> I go around, boom. Hit the gate, boom. Go straight across. Jump on the wall, boom. Hit the other wall, boom. Run into the laundry man. After that. Did you see that police car down there at the bottom of the wall? I didn't see no police car. It was back then. <laughs> you almost landed on. So you were driving the car? Yes, sir. 
There was a lot, a, to the, a lot to the detectives when they first came to, when they first came okay. to talk to me. And I told what them, you that's probably the lies you talking about. What you talk about? I told them that Big Fred was driving and all like that right there, which I was the driver. Big Fred was the passenger. DK was behind me, and um, Young Thug was behind Big Fred. Young Thug is uh, a rapper. Wait a minute. So Young Thug, what, what see what see this Big Fred? Because he's like six eight, three fucking. 354 pounds. He was sitting in the back seat. No, he's in the front with me. Okay, so let me make sure I got the seat right. He said Big Fred was driving. All right, we got that cleared up. That was in the beginning. Yeah. But I told a few bullshit lies. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna keep all shit right, with you. I'm gonna keep it all the way live, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Big Fred. Okay. You know, like I told the police officers, you know, everything just happened so fast that we ain't even, and none of this, none of this was even supposed to occur. Mm -hmm. My man just come home from prison. So, so what about the man. guy with the money? Sir? What about this guy with the money? What's Thug? Thug came to you with a lick, it sound like. No, the, 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 they want to check on the lick. The lick was dead. The lick was dead. The lick was dead. I guess. When DK got in the car, did you see any money on him? No, sir. I had three hundred forty five dollars a month. Yeah, I know. It's in property. I saw what I saw it down there on the I had my own on the sheet. Yes, I had my own three hundred forty five dollars in check and um worth of cash in my pocket. It had nothing to do with what was going on up in Summerdale, right? No, no sir. All right. Did you know that DK got I, I some money? Done. Okay, let me ask you something. Yeah, I know. Who had pistols in that car? We got make sure I got in the car correctly. Who had pistols in the car? You got Big Fred with a gun. You got DK with a gun. You got Thug with a gun. Big Fred. What kind of gun did Big Fred have? Because I'm going to go get him. You think you can recognize him? He had a 9 millimeter Ruger. Fred had a 9 millimeter Ruger. Go slow for me because I'm slow. Okay. DK had a little bitty, small, little gray looking gun. You know what kind? I can't. I don't know. I just know. Small and gray? Yes, sir. Uh, was it automatic or was it, uh... All of them was automatic. All right. But you don't know if his was 9 or 40, 45? What kind of DK? I can't tell you to do it. Okay. I, mean, I don't hang All right. All right. All right. Small gray man, automatic. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me put this on a clip for rapper too. Mm -hmm. These are younger guys than me and Big Fred. Like I said, once before, Big Fred just come home from jail. I'm trying to show him Big Homie a good time. I took him to buy him brand new clothes and stuff. Okay. You know what I mean? And, 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 and that was that. Big the friends. Guys, the young, younger guys, I don't, I don't know what they be having, what, what their attendance is, or what they be on, or whatever, but they is, is, is way beyond what we're on. You feel what I'm saying? They, What's they go by a whole other means of getting their money, which oh, is my hustle. That's for sure. To get my money. The okay. younger guys, they like to rob, take, and do all this other stuff. You feel okay. No, so okay. I just want to put that clip, you know what I mean? Young I, rob, I never rob. I ain't got no, ain't no rapper for no robber in itself for juvenile or something like that, but... That, since that, I've been straight forward, you know what I mean, trying to raise my family and whatever. But what kind of gun did Young Thug have, if you can remember? I can't really. I didn't see Thug gun. Okay, but how'd you he know had, he had one when he, he got had, in the car? He had a gun. He keep a gun on. How much was the lien going to be? How much were they paying for the lien? It's 50 or pop. Open $150 for the lien. It's 50, 50, 50. No, I give 50. He went 50. Uh, Thug went 50. Uh, DK's both went 50. We're supposed to all go in on the lien. Both show Big Fred a good time. That's it. Did you know that... Um, now, how long have you known DK? Uh, three weeks. That's it? Yeah, just, Not even from the neighborhood? Yeah, just a couple weeks. Now, I've been hearing about him and stuff like that, just for just, you know, just running with him, hanging with him. But that was the, the second time yeah. you got in the car with him? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I want to make sure we got the right DK. Because uh, the one we got down there, if you don't know him off the rip, let me see how. <clears throat> Okay, describe DK for me. The guy in the car with you. And where's he sitting? He just got, got a tattoo with D and a backward K on his on forehead. What's that all about? Backward K. I don't know. All right, he had a bad bag. Bad tattoo artist. Gang bag of family man and a guy just come home from prison. So you know what I'm saying? So DK, who's he friends with in the car? Who's he tight with? Him and Thug, Him and Thug like, they down with each other. They gang man. They, All right. they sell some type of blood. How long blood. have you known Thug? I, don't, I know his father. I've been knowing his father for over a couple of years now. You know what I mean? And like I said, Thug just started coming around here. But how long have you known he exists as a human being? How long do you know him? I can't remember. So how long? 
in years. He had to guess. Because I don't know his real name. What's the real name, man? Uh, Little Jeff. That's all I know. He called him Little Jeff. But you don't know his last name. What his daddy's last name, man? I don't know his daddy's last name. I know his dad named Jeff Rowe. Little Jeff. Jeff. Okay, I'll figure that out before we leave. I mean, it's not hard. Uh, for the guy in the car with you is this kid, DK. If you saw the picture of him again, would you recognize him? Yes, sir. All righty. Now, I got a picture of a kid named DK. Got a DK with a backwards K in the middle for it. Is that the DK that got in your car? Mm-hmm. That's the one that got in the car? All right. Back seat. DK in the back seat. All right. Now, I want you to listen to something. And, you know, I want to make sure we got this story right. Did you know that DK had a lot of money on him when we got him in his pocket? No, sir. Bloody money, which means it got wet up when he... Okay. Everybody out there said there was some shots in the car as it was crashing. What's that all about? I don't know. I heard a couple of shots as we were going up and up and down. You know what I'm saying? Do you know that y'all went off that wall? Yes, sir. How did how did it happen? What, the, what, car, the car was just going out of control. It, it wasn't. It must have floored it at some it point. It wasn't breaking. Then after the after the gate hit, the car just go. Car just go. It went over that grass and did his own thing. It went straight to that wall. There ain't no stir, no acceleration, no none of that. It's just, just going. I don't the gas, none of it just was, the car just did its own thing. So. Hey, you remember what I said about I take my time with this shit? Mm-hmm. Just listen. Just listen, just listen. But it hasn't been the time of the way. Anybody in my child, I get everybody say, as long as my first, my first people, I ain't there, I'm not violent. They can't look at me like I'm a violent thing. And for two, four, five, 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 do you remember this conversation? My wife the other day. That's your wife? Yes, sir. What day was this? I can't tell you that The opposite. it legitimized everything that happened out there. You know what I mean? He he was a victim. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I got you, but I appreciate it. I owe you one for making that happen. All right. All right. Let me hit you right back in a minute, okay? All right. 
We ain't got to the part I'm talking about yet. I don't know what part it is. We'll be there in a minute. Stand by. Oh, this shit never so fast, man. Mm -hmm. That's family stuff. I you should pay attention. Be, listen to this. This is important. Women ain't shit, boy. Oh, I'm married now. I know my wife. I around the corner. What we he said? Nigga got a nigga around the corner. Hold on, man. I ain't telling you his name. No. Listen to me. Name Red. Yeah, Red. All right. Pay attention. you already told me, right? I just want to be fair to you. These are just conversations. So you think I'm lying to you? No, no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm confirming what you just told me. Okay. It, it, this is the question. The question's coming up now. The question I have after you listen to this one is coming up. I want to just set up. I mean, it's all the calls since you've been down there. That's just one to say that you heard about the lick. That shows truth 
You heard about it from Thug and after they came back. They said it's up there. You said, okay, so stand by. Let's get this one, the second one going. I mean, I had to listen to them all week, and I want to make sure you listen to them too, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, this is the one that kind of, this is, this is the one that bothers me a little bit, and I think we got to clear it up. An inmate at Fulton County Jail is called subject to recording and monitoring. To accept this free call, press 1. To refuse this free call, press 2. We thank you for using security. <laughs> so like this whole thing, you know, I'm like, uh, this shit ain't right. This shit ain't even, this shit ain't even say real. Oh, you try your own shit. I'm just going to win it all right now. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, my. We went to the kids shop for right? But you know, you free shit, man. You got to call the kids that shit. You know what I'm saying? How many shots did you hear in the car? And also, I heard like I heard like two shots with you. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. All the other shit I'm saying. Hold on. Make hold on. Me. Hold on. Hold on. You know I gotta add a little hype hold to up. it with my wife. Listen to this. It sounded like the 150 stayed back at the trap. It didn't ride with y'all like with skateboards car. That's just me listening. But hold on, think about that while we're finishing up. We're almost done. No, that's cool. I'm, I'm hold on. We're gonna this let me finish, then we'll tell the whole thing. All that money will buy. Money came on the Shit, 
I'm the only one working this shit. No. But now, majority of that stuff, Quinn, that I was telling them was make believe shit too now. You see what I'm saying? Let's talk about that. I hyped up with my wife in a little bit too. Why are you bragging about that? You know, yeah, yeah, that bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? That went on, you know, because. I'm really trying to, I'm adding, I'm, I'm visualizing the story, but you know, I'm just trying to make it, make it all one. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't, I ain't, I, I, you know, telling them a lot of little uh, shenanigan bullshit too, so. I'll tell you what I believe in a second. One more, then we're done. Hello, uh, this is a prepaid collect call from an inmate at Bolton County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept. Oh, Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from an inmate at Fulton County Jail. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. The man was somebody who was five five out of day. I don't know why the bitch was. He's somebody who's gonna bother me and all that shit. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I got you. Oh, my God. He's not out here. Man, he good, man. Shit, we don't want to get late before shit. You know what I'm saying? We've been late before. You've been somebody who wants to go to get it going for. It's gonna be all right. You need to go get some work, though, but we ain't been doing the bullshit around with us shit, man. We do need to go get some work. Conversation that between 13 and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. There was a situation where um, you say DK got out of the car. I didn't get out the car this time, and you waited for DK to get back. Now, in the context of everything I've listened to, it sounds like a robbery on Big Red. It doesn't make sense about you going to get the lien because you left the 150 down at the car. You had 345 on you. That, that lien deal was on hold. And then, hold on, hold on. The robbery was not dead because <laughs> DK got the money. It was in his pockets. DK took the money? He got it from Big Red. Uh, he got it from Dirty Red. See, he was in the parking lot. See, me and Red, me and Red, me and Red like this up. Huh? Me and Red man like this up. I didn't even know they was going to rob Red man. You see what I'm saying? They you wouldn't give us a name. You feel what I'm saying? Now okay. that I know, now that I've been sitting in jail. Yeah, but here's the know, thing. Here's the thing. A reasonable person is going to believe guys going up. Now, you say you followed him from Ken's spot, which I know what the fuck that is down there, the sheriff, Ryan. That's the coral. Huh? It's a club called the coral. I know who Ken is. 
Just let's leave it like that. Yeah. I know who can. I'm not gonna go into it. Yeah. I know who the fuck he is because I know a lot of real motherfuckers up there. I know that Red probably works with Ken. I know that. Red got that check. That's what the tapes are telling me. He got that check. Let me finish. He got the check. Thought, but thug bought you the lick. You're low. And the reason why I'm saying that, you got a lot of financial problems. You're trying to come up. You're 15 days behind on your rent. You got all these different shits going on. You got two car notes. You got a landlord that's cool, but he ain't too cool after the 15th. You got a hardworking wife that's trying to get certified in her field by going to school. You got beautiful children, your son, who you need to look out for. And I got one. Listen to me. Um, apparently your wife don't know because she act like you don't. But the thing of it is, it's a situation where uh, y'all are following Red and the guy he's in the car with. They get up there, it's going to be a simple lick. You say y'all let DK get out to get it, and DK got out and started shooting. If you would have got out, it would have been different. It wouldn't have been no shooting. This wasn't, this wasn't, first of all, Red had a stack. DK got it. He got back in the car. He shoved that shit in his pocket before he got back in the car with y'all. He wasn't going to tell y'all shit, y'all nigga that had shit. Right, right. Y'all went to rob Red. I just want the truth. Oh, no. Like we, like said, said, we together, so. Y'all switch cars. You didn't go up there. I mean, come on now. Yeah. Talk to me like talk to me like I'm a nigga know some shit. But I know how that land is. I, I, Folks take turns. I know you didn't get out. You, I'm asking you a straight question. Are you the driver on this lick for a robbery? That's all I want to know. You're not the gunman. Are you the driver on a robbery? This is the driver. You're the driver. All right, so what's the move? Tell me the move. At, I'm going to get it all together. Yeah, I mean, but if I got to send it over there like this, from my perspective, I ain't let you do it. All right. All right. I, tell I, me. What's the lean bullshit I told you first? Okay. All right. Shit, all right. 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 He said, nigga sent up that Ken shot with the with, with, with 10, 15,000 on him. I just sent the money in the bag. Ken done whooped up and got the money already. The money gone. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ken got the money. Ain't, ain't, no, ain't no such thing as 10, 15,000 up there no more in the car. Yeah, but you were excited about hearing that number, so what happens next? Okay, cool. We go check it out. Look at it, see what's going on. Boom. They ain't up there. They come back flying past, make a drive. We see them, boom. We following on up to Somerdale. Now, we in Somerdale. What, what do you follow? What kind of car are you following? We following the gray, uh, it's gray, I want to say Pontiac or? Well, you can say gray car if you don't know what kind. It's gray, it's gray little, gray Dodge. All right, that's Dodge, cool. Pontiac. Following Dodge. Dodge. Gray Dodge. All right. And, you know, we get up, we get up. No. Through where? You got to say where. Get some of them. D- All right. D- DK jump out the car or whatever. You know what I mean? Why'd y'all pick him? Sir. Why did y'all pick that motherfucker to get out? And all the motherfuckers. I don't know why I thought didn't get out. It was his leg. He sat in the car in the back seat like a bitch. This is in the front this seat. Is, this is man. You know oh. So it ain't no who pick who. It's mm-hmm. his man. Mm-hmm. He tells his foot soldiers what to do. Mm-hmm. I'm no gangbang, I'm no blood, nothing. It, he tells him, showing your record. He tell him, hey, you go get it. You know what I'm saying? What did he say exactly? What did Thug say? He told him, go get the money. From, From who? He said, he said go, he said, go get the money, go take the money, come on back. So he told him, go take the money, come on back. All right, so is that before or after you backed in? In the parking lot? The bad thing, he told him, go get the money. All right. Where's the where's that Taurus? You were worried. You were worried about that Taurus. You weren't sure. No, see the Taurus. All is going in together. Is the Taurus in front of you or behind Taurus you? The police Taurus. What I'm talking about. Police Taurus in front of me. Did you know it was the police? You because it sounded like you were nervous. Like damn it, goddamn. Let me find out what the fuck this Taurus all about. I didn't know it was the police. Your radar went up. The rest of the motherfuckers ain't even clued in on that shit. You're like, hold on, motherfucker. Let me see. I see a Taurus. Sure. That's what I heard. It's the police now. Not that I went to loot the check and then like that because I would have known then. You know what I'm saying? The police mm-hmm. out here don't do. Right. But I just want to make sure it's a Taurus. The police in the car right here. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the car going, the Taurus going on there. Okay, boom. We back in, DK just thought to DK go get the money or whatever. And he get out, boom. Two minutes later, he's popping shots. You feel what I'm saying? Now? Who? He ain't had, had time to take Did no you money. see who was shooting at? Oh, he ain't had time to take no money. He was just shooting. 
got the money. You see what I'm saying? He got the money. Only, only see. Did I, you see all that money on the ground when you were in the back of that police car? You had to see all that money on the ground. No, uh, I see. Okay, yeah. all right. I didn't even know he had took no money. He got a stack. You see what I'm saying? He got. Uh, I ain't making I'm it up. Keep one hundred with you. One guy run this way, another guy run that way, another guy run that way. All right, you all right, all right. Everybody go run their straight. Who did you? Because you were saying to your wife, "I wish I would have ran with Thug," because he got away. Which way did he go? Thug. Uh, me and Thug got caught. We jumped. Be freaking though. Me, me, me Thug be freaking out. DK couldn't move against the panel because he was shot or whatever. Thug jumped the wall. I jumped the wall. I jumped up here. Thug went behind the um. Dollar King, uh -huh. and I jump over in the parking lot. As I run across the parking lot, that's when the police car come run me over. Whatever. Okay. What kind of car ran you over? The, the blue tire, the same blue All tire right. for female. All right. Now, Big Fred, what was his job for this deal? You said he had a strap. You said he had a uh, a he's nine holding, millimeter ruler. He just holding the ruler. You know what I mean? Did he ever say anything? Does he know anything about me? He's been gone for a minute, so he, you know, he's, he's just, just trying to come up on his one little lick. Yeah, he's just trying to get out, put something in his pocket, man. That's it. He ain't no. Uh, I mean, did he say bad. anything you can remember? He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't try to run on no mission to rob or none of that. We, at, at the time we went to Somerdale, the robbery. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If we went in some of them, the robbery wasn't no robbery because he could have got out, Thug could have got out, DK could have got out. They could have went on ahead and had their business. Thug tell DK, he didn't really just say go get the money. He was like, go ahead and get it. So I don't know what's going on by, you feel okay. what I'm saying? No. All right, but but, but when I tell my family, when you hear me tell my family is about the robbery because that's what went on. Well, y'all robbing this boy Red, but you're driving. He just dropped, but you know they're going to get his money from him, and he's not going to, like, give it to him voluntarily. you got to know that. Yeah, you know, you know they're going to take his money. Take money. All right, so let me ask you this. I got to get sure I got the seat placement in the car. I'm not understanding how nobody got hurt worse than that. Was there a girl in the car anywhere? No girl. You are just hiding that from your wife. There is no girl nowhere no, in the car. No girl, no girl okay, in the car. The right. girl that they think is a girl, Officer Quinn. So I ain't mean to touch it, but the girl they think is a right. girl is thug. I gave you thug, man. Thug got the wild hair. They think okay. Got the, you there you go. Think, I'm gonna just keep it off. Okay. All right. Cause he he you know he, he looked a little bit like a girl. I mean, no cause it's over 108 of these little motherfuckers. He does look a little bit it's, like it's a girl. 108 of these little motherfuckers. So with me, I'm a family man. I ain't trying to get in comfort. Where where's thug sitting? Up front or in the back? He's in the back with DK. You see what I'm saying? You got, you got Wait, me. Wait, man, who, who's up front with you? You got me and Big Fred. Me, you and Big Fred up front. I'm driving Big Fred on the passenger seat, dog behind Big Fred, DK behind the drop. That's me. Who's behind Big Fred? Dog. Dog behind Big Fred. Damn, it's a wonder he didn't get hit. Dog behind Big Fred. So I'm wondering. Do you think Thug shot DK in the back? Is it possible? Yeah, I mean, shot in the back. I thought said he, shot he shot in the back. back. He shot. I in thought back. Fred shot in the back. I'm sorry, Fred shot in the back, but he's up front. Yeah, so I'm saying, did That's Thug? I, I can't say Thug or DK. How many shots did you hear in the car when it's crashing over the wall? How many shots did you hear in the car? In the car, because the police ain't near y'all. You got away. No, I'm saying I heard one shot. Pop, pop. I heard one shot. Pop. But. I can't say it was a shot because it was a, a lot of confusion. It was a crash. All right, all right. I can't say this person, that person shot him or, or who shot him. I like to say I heard a loud noise, but all of it was going off with the with the uh, the impact of the crash mm -hmm. to the wall. So I can't say. All right. I know DK couldn't have shot him because he more worried about you feel what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He more worried about his shit, his, he, his situation. He, 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 had, like, he, he, had, he had a stack on him. Like, I, on everything I love, I'm letting you know, he had a stack. He he went in Red's car, because Red ran like a motherfucker. The Red, ran. Red got the fuck on He left his car sitting open. Everybody out there said it. Uh, DK went into the car, up under the armrest, got the money where he had the money. Cuffed it, got in the car, wasn't going to tell y'all niggas shit. I'm going to tell y'all shit. So, I mean, I'm just saying, man. So, I mean, what is it? A robbery case on me or something? I, I ain't wrong nobody. What I'm saying is, you have, you, you, based on what you're telling me, you're the driver in a case where DK, the guy you know that got in the car with you, with the tattoo on his floor with the back with K, was told by Thug, who I haven't identified yet. I don't know his real name yet. I'm going to go see if I can find it. Um, 
DK is uh, the one that got the car, the one you waited on to get back in. Why'd you wait on him after he, if he, after he was shooting? Why'd you just leave that motherfucker? Because you could have left him. No, this is man. You know what I mean? I ain't... Why didn't you just leave him up there? Because he was, he was doing the shooting. He changed the script on a simple lick. I'm going to piss off with Is this a simple, this is a simple lick. Yeah, it should have been easy. I'm going to piss off with Y'all change cars because everybody know you're camming. Let me tell you something. Was Thug in your black Camry earlier when he went to check on that lick? No. You sure? When he went up, when he went up to can shop, was Thug using your car or another black Camry? Thug got a black uh, Challenger. He got his own car. Not a black Challenger. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Now, a police officer that did the shoot. When did you? F Is that your instruction, sir? Your Honor, it is stopped at uh, 120 Okay. Um, Um, Mr. Bean, do me, can you do me a favor? Can you step outside just for a second?